What's up, all my fellow Funko addicts? It's your boy McFly, man, coming at you again with a uh, first video of its kind that I've done. Um, today, I want to spend some time talking about real and fake Funkos. Um, as uh, well, I guess I'll start off with this. If this is your first time over here at McFly Funko, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell before you leave. If not, I won't be mad at you. I might be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so at any rate, um, as most of you know, I'm fairly new to the Funko game. As of March of 2019, I did not have a single Funko. And present day, um, September 29th-ish, I have around 200 of these things but in the early days i was unaware that they actually made fake funkos i knew that uh ebay was one of the popular places to actually get them and um i was hopping on trying to find some stuff you know how basically you start off buying funkos and then you find out how many different ones they have and you just go searching and um i fell victim to mostly a case of the price was really too good to be true um and like i said at the time i didn't know that fake funkos was were a thing but um i went um venom is one of my favorite villains of all time so i have a lot of venom stuff but um i copped a venom um before i tell you which one is which i want to see uh how many of you in the comments can guess which one is the fake one so um uh, Right now, I'll give you about 10 seconds to type in the comments which one you think is fake. All right, I'll go ahead and tell you now, this one here with the exclusive sticker is the real Venom. This one here, without the exclusive sticker, is the fake Venom. We're gonna take them out of the boxes, I'm gonna show you some differences, and uh, maybe what you can be looking for. However, it's very hard to tell a Funko without having a real Funko beside it to compare it to. Pictures can be outrageously deceiving, and um, you may not know. And apparently they're faking a lot of them these days. So, I had an experience with this one, and another one, <laughs> that I'm gonna do a video on it too, but those are the only two um, fake Funkos that I have and I can't give them away or sell them or none of that because they're fake. So they're just stuck in the collection for now. So if anybody asks, I got two fake Funkos in my collection. Oh well. But I was scrolling on eBay and uh, came across this Venom, this fake one here. I saw it and um, it was on sale for $8. <laughs> and eight dollars shipped free shipping and everything so immediately that should have been a red flag out the gate and uh, that's the first point that i wanted to make if the price is too good to be true more more often times than not it's probably going to be fake i didn't read the description or anything i saw seven or eight dollars it was under ten dollars and i just hurry up and checked out and um, it got to a point where the pop was taking a real long time to get to me. So I went to check my eBay and my shipping and it said it was coming from China. And then I went to the description and I started reading and it was saying that a product um, may have like box damage or may not match the exact product. And basically laying it down saying that it was fake. And had I read the description, I would have known that it was a fake Funko. But I didn't read it. Like I said, I got excited. My eyes got big, checked out. Boom, quick, done with it. At the end of the day, I was like, hey man, if it's fake, I'm only losing $8. What's $8 or $9, $7, whatever, between $7 and $9. I'm gonna just say under 10 going forward. Under $10 not a huge deal right so that's pretty much how it happened and then i had to go back and get a real one of course because i'm not the type to be stunting no fake so that's what we had to do um as you look at the boxes here it's a lot of stuff that's pretty much the same you don't have the exclusive sticker on this box but one main difference is the shades of colors on these box on these boxes so I don't know if the camera's really picking that up, but the real one, the the red or burgundy, whatever color that is, it's lighter than this one. 
as you can see everything the writing and stuff on this fake pop looks it looks like it's kind of faded or cloudy -ish. it's not very crispy so you definitely want to look at that and make sure it's crispy for those of you that have Funkos um, study the boxes study how they look study the fonts you're gonna need to know this kind of stuff especially if you're buying off eBay or any of these sites where you could ultimately buy a uh, fake you can really see the difference in the lids between real and fake you see the difference in the pop the words and the clearness of the two half heads you see that and if it's just a pop by itself you're not you're not going to see that just like uh, the box on the back you see those differences in tones everything is the same but it's two different tones but if you don't have a real one to go by you don't know the bottom of the box everything is pretty much the same on it but the fonts are different um the real one has an extra sticker on it but everything pretty much looks the same except the fonts that's it so you really got to be careful and know what you're looking for now you can notice some clear-cut differences when you get them out the box so if you're just looking at boxes, boxes may be deceiving if you don't know. But actually looking at the pops, we'll take them out for you guys. This one is a bobblehead. We'll start off with the real one. There he is. What's up, Venom? Homie, I see you, bro. Head shaking. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I get carried away sometimes. Now for Fakey McGee over here. Let's get him out of the box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these fake Funkos. I guess I'll keep them. It's like a lesson learned of what not to do, I guess. Put the box back. And kaboom. So, now, we got them both here. Let's see if I can do this and reach around the boxes. This is the fake one. I mean, no, this is the real one. I'm sorry, this one's real. This one's fake. As you can see, the fake one, let me, let me just get the boxes out the way. We went over the boxes. So, now, here with it. Both stances are the same. The fake one is slightly taller, but that can be adjusted. If you just adjust the spring, you can get that head to come down lower. Standing side by side, they pretty much look identical. Now, some differences that you have on these. The real one is smaller. You see the size of the head. The size of the head on the real one is smaller than the one on the fake one. The actual bodies are the same size but on the bobblehead you can see like from the back you can see the neck on that fake one you see it you can't really see the neck on the real one um what kind of got me is the teeth on the real one on this one it's jacked let me show y'all these teeth man he needs a new dental plan or something but the uh tongue has a gloss finish the actual whole body of this pop has a gloss finish. On the fake one, they got them teeth perfect, man. I wish I could swap teeth on these. But uh, his body is, is more dull. It's not shiny. The tongue doesn't have any shine on it. And uh, that's pretty much it that you can really tell. The uh, chest actually isn't printed. It's hard to hold this thing. Isn't printed as well. As the other one is, it's kind of like a sloppy paint job. That one's much cleaner on the chest, if you can see that. So another thing that I noticed is with this real one here, it's stiff. You can't, you can't squeeze that. Like, you, you can't. I ain't that strong, but you squeeze it, it don't move. And a lot of the older pops, they're hard. You can't, you can't squeeze them. This fake joint, you can squeeze it, you can bend it. He moves arms up 
now, I'm trying to show you a better way. Like this, the arms, they moving. Legs, they moving. All that, you can squeeze it. On this joint, they ain't going. <laughs> I'm trying, like for real, I ain't playing. I'm really trying. It's not moving. The arms barely move, like for sure. So that's something to pay attention to. Just want to let you guys know that fake pops are out there. I paid like $15 or $20 for this real one, which was uh, right in line with Pop Price God. Um, so luckily, I was able to get a real Venom. And this fake Venom, there it is, man. Be careful because there's not much that you can really tell outside of the height and some of the things that I showed you. I hope this video helps somebody along the line somewhere. I've also got another video like this that I'm gonna put out uh, probably next week or the week after just to show you guys some other differences of stuff that you can find different from these. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below if you've ever got a fake Funko. You know, do you prefer fake Funko? Some people like them. I've heard some people will cop a real Funko and stash it and then buy a fake one to display. Some people do that. I ain't that kind of guy. But, you know, just letting people know there are fake Funkos out here. Be careful when you're purchasing from eBay and other outlets. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. And until next time, it's your boy McFly. I'll holler at you.